It's a night ultrasound. It's a night ultrasound. Dad's trying to find Olive out there. I can hear him singing. He's going, Olive, Olive, Olive. Olive, 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 Olive. <laughs> Here she comes. Hop up. She, she, yeah. she looks good. Hey. Good and pregnant. Oh, I hate when they go on that side. I know. That's kind of weird, Mom. Look, a little lighting. No, it's good. Oh She's bred. Look at how many. Ooh, definitely nice. two. Right off the bat. Three. Three. All right. So I definitely see like three. Like I can see them really and good. And maybe one at the bottom there. You see? You know? Oh, like that. Four. Right. Wow. Good job, girl. So I see three really good. Really good ones in there. Yeah, she looks Dang, big. Already. She does look big. Already. She has been. Yeah, she has been looking pretty big. But I'm thinking that that would be cool if she had three. Wow. Three, maybe four, but she's small, so she'll probably not have a fourth. Crazy. That is crazy. This is her first time. Yeah. Okay, so little Olive, big Olive, <laughs> is bred. She's officially bred, so that would put her due date. Um, March 15th, nice. so spring break, spring break party. Yeah, big party. <laughs> big party with Olive. So remember, we just do an ultrasound to determine if she has been bred or if we need to start putting her with the buck again, but that's good, she's bred. And we could see three, clearly. So I'm actually gonna set in my calendar to check her again in about 10 days, just so that we can see if we can see them fully forming. Cause as you guys know, there are usually a lot of sacs in the beginning and then not so many as they get further along because there are a lot that resorb usually. Good job, Olive. Keep eating lots. <laughs> so as you guys remember, we bred Olive with Napoleon. So Napoleon is our new buck that we got this year from Drehook Farm, and we're really excited about him because his dam has some great side attachments. That's a really good thing for the health of an udder to not sag really far down as they get older and to, you know, stay positioned where it's supposed to be. So it's a small thing, but it's something that is really desirable in the goat world. So um, I'm hoping we've got Olive who comes from Blue Cactus with great genetics, and then we can sort of just improve it a little bit with Napoleon. So we'll see what we get out of that and hopefully some dolings because 2021 so far has only given us one doling to really keep. I guess Stella had Astrid at the very beginning of 2021, but one doling to raise up so far. We would like to have more so we can see how they do and if we're really improving our genetics like we hope we're doing. Always watching. Okay, who's gonna go get Olive? I got her. Oh, you got her, good job. Come on. There's no Peter, I know. Okay, kids. Point to say. <laughs> so we know that goats resorb fetuses all the time. And that's the problem is we ultrasound early, we find out that there's like two or three, we count them, and then they only have like one or two. They suck them back in. So we are going to uh, count Tonight, we're gonna be sure, we're gonna be absolutely sure how many she has, because Ethan's gonna count them. He's gonna count every yeah, single one of them. I'm good at that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Might have to have you hold her leg, honey, because she's yeah. sort of, oh wait, here we go. Okay, Ethan. Uno. One. Two. Okay. <laughs> okay, Lydia. I can only see two. What? There's the one underneath the, he's hiding. There is, there is this little one yeah, back there that almost exactly. like it's positioned the other way. Yeah, yeah, there, you can see it. One, two, three, all across. Mm, yes. I, I, okay, I'm saying there's definitely two. Like oh, we, we yeah. counted two. I feel like it's probably only two. Cause there's one, see that little face? Look at that. Mm -hmm. There's one and then Two, three. <laughs> and then this one yeah. is the other one. Down here. See that moving? Yeah, it's all moving around already. 
And Lydia's mystery third one. He's hiding, I swear. So Lydia says three, and if she's wrong, what are we gonna do to her? <laughs> what are we gonna do? I swear it's three. People are gonna agree with me. Okay, all right, okay. So at least we know that sometimes they do resorb some, but um, I'm saying two. What are you saying, Ethan? I say two. I'm confident there is multiple goats. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. And then Lydia says three. There's three, I promise. Okay, there's one. Mm hmm And then there's two. There's two. I don't see the third one. Well, because there's three, it's all cramped in there, so it's hard to see. <laughs> That's right. Okay guys, so we've been raising up these six chicks that we got in the mail a while ago that we gave all those crazy names, remember? Yeah, Bandit. I only remember one. So now it's time to clip their wings so that they can go out in the pasture with the rest of the chickens. I, you made me look so short. It was like only my head. Salem, you're in the way. Oh. <laughs> you bit me. Did he bite you? Look, my hand. Oh, they go over here. Go yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hey. Isn't it dark? No, it just looks like that. Because it's a black chicken? Uh-huh. Okay. And it's also okay. sun setting. How high up? <laughs> oh, wait, why did he react? I didn't even do it that high up. Yeah, no, you didn't even do that high. He's, He's an angry chicken. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, you hold his head. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> why is he reacting like it hurts him? Literally, you are such a baby. Who is this? Who is this? I don't remember which one. Gosh. You can join the real chickens. Okay. Uh, you want to jump on. down on your own? Go on. There you go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me weird. Why is he looking at me? <laughs> He's like completely He's zoned out. It's not focused. Bring him down. There you go. You're okay. You're Why okay. did he just suddenly flip out? Uh. <laughs> okay, bandit. Fluffy feet. Don't be gentle, just throw him. You ready? There you go. There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> You are a fat chicken. I don't remember Bring him what down. this one's name is. Lavender. Oh, yeah. Lavender Orpington or something like that. I don't know. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's a little uncomfy. He got such thick feathers. Go find your, oh, your amigos. Right there. there we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> do oh, wait. This isn't even one of the... Yeah, it is. Is it? Or was it Ooh, that Ooh, what? Wait a second. They look the same. No, they're hanging out. They're friends. It's this one. Ooh, is he nice? <laughs> I'm not gonna cut his... Okay. Put him in... Put him in... Back a little bit. Back a little bit. There we go. There we go. Get that close up. I'm, not, I'm sorry. It's okay. Ignore the cutting noises. Go with your friends. Oh, just sat down. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> He'll be fine. No, you're okay, you're okay, yeah. He'll be fine. Oh, he's got he's got shoes. He's got socks. He's got shoes. Christmas, Christmas socks. Christmas socks. Look at those. Is he mean? No, he's not mean. No. He's good. He's good. He's not mean. I don't think any of them are roosters. I think one is, but I don't know which one. Ooh, he's got fluffy fluffers. Last one. Goodbye. Bye. Go find your friends. Let me introduce you to the sponsor for this video, StoryWorth. StoryWorth is the best holiday gift. It's an online service that helps you preserve precious memories for your loved ones. 
How it works is once you purchase this gift from StoryWorth online, every week StoryWorth will send your loved one an email with a new question prompting them to answer something that they probably haven't answered before in their life. Questions like, what is the bravest thing you've ever done in your life? Or if you had to go back in time and choose a new career, what would it be? After one year of sending these emails and getting your loved ones answers, as well as pictures that they can upload, StoryWorth will combine it all into a special book that the whole family can enjoy. It's such a meaningful way to finally get those memories down on paper, and with the hustle and bustle of the season, it's sort of the perfect gift for those people that we don't know what to get for. We've been able to gift it to the grandparents in our family, and we're so glad that they are now putting their memories down on paper because they have a lot of memories and stories that we want to preserve. With StoryWorth, I'm giving those I love a thoughtful gift from the heart, preserving their stories for years to come. Go to storyworth.com slash Reap and save $10 off on your first purchase. Three old ladies right here. Tilly, Willow, and Luna. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Some chicken's going nuts. Let me guess, it's the silky. I'm gonna give you guys a treat this morning because you're all just so amazing, okay? Yes, even you, Luna. <laughs> now, I know Luna likes these. I know, because you've had them before. Oh, don't like them today. Okay, I know Tilly likes these. Oh, you always like everything. And I'm pretty sure, hey, be nice to Willow. I'm pretty sure Willow likes these. Willow, do you want one? Okay, we gotta sneak it to Willow. Here you go, Willow. Oh, Willow, you don't want one either? Tilly wants two. Well, you're pregnant, so I guess that's okay. Well, today is a fun day today because we are going to milk Tatum. My hair is all over the place. Hello. How you doing? Was that rough? Okay. I know. Let's milk you real quick. Come on. Ooh, I like that udder. Oh, wow. That doesn't look bad at all. Look at those teeth pointing straight down. Now, first timers can sort of be the worst, but you just have to be really, really patient with them. I'm really happy that, that we don't have these teats that point outward, but these are beautiful teats on Tatum, totally different than Fern, and the placement, or just how they're pointed down, <laughs> I'm happy with that. This is a beautiful udder for a first timer. I gave her lots of treats that she loves normally, but it's gonna be rough. Okay, now we pet you. You've done little pretend milky milks, okay? So we're gonna do. Oh, oh, stay there, stay there. So the trick with first timers is you just don't move your hand. <clears throat> so I might have to do this one-handed, but good girl. I know this is so weird. Wow, you're not kicking. You're doing so good. I have never had a go do this good the first time. Okay, let's leave that for your baby. Wow, <laughs> that was really good. I'm really impressed with her. She's uh, She was one that I thought would be dancing on the stand, but no, she, she did really good. And I would say that's about a good two cups, which is really good for her first time, and she is done. She's ready to be out. Okay, come on. Let's go let's go see your baby. Okay. Let's see if she goes back by herself. Let's see if she knows where she is. No. <laughs> she knows. There you go. And now we milk Hazel. She is doing so great. Look at that beautiful udder right there. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put all of our goats this year on milk test, so hopefully we can see all of the new ones, Hazel and Fern and Tatum, earn their milking stars. 
and because Tilly already earned hers last year. And then in the spring, hopefully Olive and Daphne earn their milking stars. So we're gonna do a lot of milking this year. Come on, Hazel. Come on. All right, Hazel gets to be out in the pasture. I just gotta let her baby out with her. Good morning. How are you guys? Does your pen need to be cleaned out? Hi. Hello. Hi. You two are so cute. Hi. These two are so friendly. They're so friendly. Today, we are going to fix the mountain. Now, as you guys know, I've never liked how they slip and slide on the stumps on the mountain. So, I've been wanting to figure out a solution, like how can we make it more sticky or I guess coarse so that they don't slide on it. And um, after much deliberation, we think we finally found a solution. This is my favorite Kevin's craft, because you bought something new. <laughs> this is not Kevin, this is Al's DIY. <laughs> All right, I think this is gonna be good. They're not gonna slide on that. Oh, these cut really, really well. Okay, <laughs> we just have to do that over the whole thing. You guys, your baby's right here, come on. Let's see if it works. Da -da -da. <laughs> it works, no more slipping. <laughs> what is that? It smells like... Hopefully they don't chew on it. <laughs> You guys want to know why Lydia and Ethan were so safe when they were babies? Because <laughs> Danelle is really good at making stuff safe. And I am. Protective for her babies. Okay, the mountain is finished. Tatum and Quill have been out here, and now we're gonna let Fern and her two babies out into the stump. Lydia, what do you think about our awesome? Yeah. Oh, wow. What do you guys think? Go try it, Ethan. <laughs> okay. Let's see if the babies want to come out. Ooh. Hello. Hi. They want to come out. They're they definitely do. old enough. Hey. Come on. Tatum's like, what? Yeah, Fern and Tatum are gonna fight a little bit because I've seen them where they've, you know, gotten out a couple times and fought. <laughs> they're like, hey. They're like, what is this? But I think Fern and Tatum will get along pretty quickly. That's not your baby. <laughs> That's not your baby. They are sisters. Come on. They are half sisters, but they don't, yeah, they don't get along really well. Let's see, whose hair is up? Huh? Both. Well, I'm gonna sniff around. Take a mean to those babies. Yeah, she will, I think. So we usually wait to let the babies out until they are fast enough to run away from one of the other mamas, and that's at about two weeks old or so. So Fern's babies are old enough now, strong enough to run away if Tatum, you know, tries to bully them at all. And I think once they work out their differences, they will be fine. Every time you let goats back together, they have to sort of work out their order between them. What is that? That's not your baby. And that's not your mama. Fern's always just chill. Yeah, she's always been really chill. She's just gonna go seek out food. Show them how to get on the mountain, Quill. Hop up there. <laughs> All the goats came to watch, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, we got a little bit of fighting here. They gotta work it out between them. You guys need to be nice, you're sisters. Half sisters, half -sisters oh. Oh, I hate when they do that. It always looks like it hurts, but you have to let them do it. Oh, they're gonna get on, they're gonna get up. Ready, go, oh, oh do it. Very Come on, cautious. Rose. Very 
That's the first Slow step. And steady. They run back to mom and then back on the mountain. They're like, mom, mom. Hi. Oh, there you go. <laughs> They don't care that mom's fighting. They're just running around. Yeah. Gotta go. Here comes a random chicken. Oh, good job. Oh, we got, oh. <laughs> See, good thing we have the rubber oh. on there. I hate watching them slip so much. They didn't slip. They did. Oh, that's a high one. Right? That is high. Those, oh. <laughs> Those bucklings are always braver. Here. <laughs> Come on. And this little boy does not stray far from his mom. Yeah, I know. He's really attached to her. Yeah. He does not leave her side. Well, the moms know how to use it. Yeah. Made <laughs> him tired. She's How's you like guys? I think they'll get along. Once they work out their differences, They'll all be playing together and the babies can be friends. Those babies will be best friends. Yeah. Okay guys, we have figured out her coloring. She is not a chamoise because chamoises have dark black or uh, it, have to, it has to be a full black or full chocolate. It has to be a solid yeah. leg. So it can't be a peppered leg like this. It has to be like striking where it's like as dark as my shirt. It has to be yeah. like that. <laughs> It's okay. Like how Fiona was, right? Yeah. Yeah, like how Fiona was. She could just wear socks all the time. Yeah, she could. We could fake it. So she is actually considered a gold. And she'll probably lighten up, but gold can be like a light cream all the way till to a dark red, a red gold like Napoleon. Oh, so okay. fern is a gold, and gold is the um, most dominant color trait. So her babies are likely to have gold in them. So, fun fact. <laughs> Chamoise is just a type of coloring that you see in goats. It's not like more desirable or anything. It's just sometimes as goat owners, we like to collect all the different colors. And so it would be kind of cool if we had a Chamoise like Penny here. But uh, so far, uh, we've only had one born that was Fiona. So, and we didn't keep her, so. Gotta still hold out and hopefully we get one in the future. It's so cute to hear the little sound too of them playing on it. Let's see if I can pick up the sound. See, it's so fun and it's all covered in rubber. Now it's nice and sticky for your hooves. Oh, they're gonna love this. Already playing King of the Hill. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh she's gonna get to see that. That was a little like get after you, and he already could tell that she wasn't gonna be nice to him. Yeah. She was like, "No, I'm gonna bite you." All right, guys. Thanks for joining us in today's video. We did actually work on the pizza oven and I did make something from the garden, but uh, I decided to leave the video running longer so that we could spend time with the baby goats because we don't have baby goats here for very often. So we gotta spend more time with them. But don't worry, in next video, we'll hopefully have most of the pizza oven done and a lot of cooking from the garden. In the meantime, if you wanna watch the video where we bred Olive and Daphne, go ahead and click here.